working on a Freightliner Cascadia tractor. Had the uh, clutch switch fail. Uh, and what I did, just to keep this truck running, is up under here, you're gonna see a three, three plug switch. It goes up to your clutch switch. And the other part of the harness that plugs into this is part of the switch. So what you can do is you can cut it off. Cause I'm gonna replace the switch anyway. And you wire it into the the green and the black wire. You cut the yellow one in the center. I put a little inline fuse in there just to be safe. Just if anything touches or isn't right, it'll blow the fuse, but it seems to be working. So once you have it like that, just plug it in. Like so. Turn the key on. Wait for the dude's checks. And she starts. Works real good. And you can keep this in your truck. If it fails again, you have a jumper ready to go. You just plug it in and off you go. Before it was just getting uh, no crank at all, or a very intermittent crank. Most of the time it wouldn't even start. So that's what I did. Now I'm gonna keep this as a tool in case any of the other freight liners break down. But it's the cleanest way to do it and uh, start it from the key. So there you go. Freight liner Cascadia clutch bypass. Works pretty damn good. Thanks for watching.